just woke up. Step one for me is always I get my tea kettle going over here. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Because for me, most important thing is that I get my tea ritual going. I got my goals right on that little piece of paper. All right, I sit right here. There's the tea set. There's the view you guys always see in the videos. There's my goal board right there. So just for like the first five or 10 minutes in the morning, I sit here, I go through, review my goals, visualize them, remind myself what I'm basically working so hard for. So we're gonna go through that and then go to the next part of my day. You know the deal from there. You know me and my tea, my tea ritual every single day. For me, I'm not doing Qigong or my morning kind of meditation because I just did three days of it on a retreat. So my body needs a little bit of a break. But the next thing I do, I sit down. I've got my one thing. You guys see this? I've got my sheet here with the main things I need to get done today. And I'm gonna start because I don't have class till 10 o'clock today and I have a two hour window from eight to 10. I'm gonna start by sitting down with some tea, working on the number one thing I've gotta get done. So I need to get a video out, and I work, need to work on this one email today. So beginning on the most important, most difficult thing I gotta do. One thing done, did a 45 minute work block. Usually that's, it's either that or studying, whatever is the most difficult. I had a big licensing exam two weeks ago, so the first two hours of my morning were just studying on the days where I did not have an 8 a.m. class. I wanna show you guys something else that's cool. Check this out, my mirror here. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. Flip this screen. All right, I got my goals. Recently I started putting this on my mirror here, which is kind of cool, a little reflection. Um, debt goal, a sleep goal, revenue goal, and then just like a fun goal and just life. So basically, I'll give you guys a little breakdown here of how my day is kind of structured. So basically from, let's say eight to 10 on the days where I don't have morning class, it's morning ritual and like the number one thing I have to work on. So, one of those work blocks, all right? Then generally, let's just say from 10 to three, I have class. Three to five, it's like, that's about five because I've got to drive there. Let's say gym, and then we're gonna say five to seven, study, seven to eight, dinner, and then eight until 11. I usually have more class work, class or business. So I don't hang out, like that's the gist of my schedule. I don't hang out with any friends during the week. Usually don't even hang out with my girlfriend during the week. That's the only way I can do it by doing this kind of thing. Oh yeah, so one other thing. If you're someone who has a hard time getting in the time for personal development or reading, listening to audiobooks, I usually will just play an audiobook while I'm cooking. So for example, um, this one, Lead the Field, is one of my favorite books of all time. This is by Earl Nightingale. I hook it up to my little Wi-Fi player over there near the window, and then I just hit this play, and then I get over and get my cooking done. So that's an easy way you can get your 30 minutes in a day in the morning. All right, just finished breakfast. For me, I mean, this does not take much preparation. It's literally like a sweet potato and then a couple eggs on top. Usually I just like to make two eggs on toast or oatmeal because it's even faster. But really quick meal to make, super tasty, full. While the sweet potatoes are cooking on the stove top and some olive oil, I just got dressed. So easy, let's do this. And then I gotta edit this video before my 10 a.m. class and then the next phase of my day.
And now, time to try and relax a little bit. I mean, I'm not really. I mean, being real with you, it's uh, 9.53, 9.57. Just got off a four and a half hour shift seeing patients. Probably gonna work till about maybe 10.30 or 11. Um, there's a few business things I need to go through and I'm gonna kind of relax and do it in a very relaxed way where I'm just kind of hanging out, watching a lecture here, Chinese medicine lecture, and I'm gonna be going through just a, a few projects I'm working on in my business that don't require full attention. So I have to put together my numbers for the accountant for the new year. Uh, I'm working on a new merch project. Miscellaneous stuff doesn't require a lot of energy. I can kind of zone out. So that's what I'm working on now. All right, last 30 minutes of my night. It's 11.35 p.m. Gotta be up at 7.45. And the last part of my day is almost always quickly reviewing my goals, five minutes, and then just reading. Um, honestly, for me, reading is just one of those things that helps me decompress. And this is where I clock in that 30 minutes a night of personal development. So I'm hanging out here. I've got most of my lights off just to wind down. Beautiful snow falling for the first time in a long time here in Portland. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. I don't know, can you see outside? Maybe not. But in any case, I'm usually spending this time. I've got, this is like the over view of the goals I'm going through here. Things I'm working on. I already have for tomorrow, some of my next action steps it's on the inside here. This is the, the list I've done for today. And now I've been hanging out. I'm going through this book by Ryan Holiday. Pretty interesting book um, about kind of creating art and work that lasts. So I'm gonna sit here with one last little cup of tea and then probably about 20, 30 minutes, I'll feel pretty tired. And then I'm gonna lay down and begin the day again anew. Before this, I guess I'll go through this and when I'm ready to wind down, I'll create my new piece of paper for the morning. So first thing when I wake up, you'll see that. And that kind of sets the tone for, you know, right when I get up, I know what I gotta do.